good day. I swapped the dog, and I just did my little rant. Uh, three years ago, I was attacked by two cops from Edmiston, orders of the Fredericton Police Force. And uh, everything's fine. So, I mean, Carl Lurkart came along and we did an interview that told me about prisoners no longer going to walk home. Everything's going fine. Nothing private about me anyway. So next thing you know, I hear Charles, Charles, Charles. So who was it? It was the mailman. First time he was really happy to see me. Uh, come with this. There it is there. So I said, all right. What is this? A summon? So my third anniversary, maybe uh, Fredericton Police finally apologized and wants to uh, find out really what's going on with my battle. Uh, is it a summon to appear in court? Hmm, what could this be? Don't have a clue. It doesn't go tick, tick, tick. Collarbone still hurts. Okay, what the hell could this be? Maybe I'm being sued by the, by the police. Notice of hearing. Ha! My God, they're going overboard. Is that it? My God, I mean, come on. Jesus um, Christ. Oh, anyway. Notice of hearing sent November 1st to Charles Leblanc. Take notice that the hearing of your appeal, the decision of the area view, view rear, reviewer, that's the one that's, what's her name again? Oh yeah, Catelyn Forbes. I wish I could forget her name. Catelyn Forbes, a uh, woman that, that, she's the area reviewer and she, um, so they, that's for my pension. Uh, they forced me to go take my pension to 60 years old. They took cent by cent. I said, can I appeal this? Oh, no problem. That's what's her name again. Majority Lacombe said, no problem. You could appeal this. So next thing you know, I get a letter. Your appeal's been denied. Then the raven talked to me. So this woman, which I had a meeting yesterday morning. I thought, I never, I, I'm shocked to see this. This is how the way the social development handles seniors. Let's continue reading here. Uh, the area Department of Social Development rendered date under the Family Income Security Act regulation will be held 19 of November and at the hour of 10.30 a.m. Fredericton Inn. So they expect seniors to walk in the cold up Regent Street. They never even offer to give me a ride there or the see. Never mind, this has nothing to do with me. Okay, oh note, you have the right to have appearing with you one person. Hmm. Maybe I should go see my psychologist or my psychiatrist. I don't have one, maybe I should. The hearing will be held in camera, which means no media and no recording device will be allowed at the hearing. <laughs> no, see, this woman, Kathleen uh, Forbes, is gonna stand up, this woman, we're going to find out who this woman is. I thought this meeting I had yesterday would calm things down. I got to send an email. This is disgusting. Anyway, it's all right. Social development wants to go after the seniors. No problem. This woman is going to say to this, this hearing that was appointed by the Brian Gallant government, that seniors, this under dash 50612, seniors could only live on 200, 200, 300 bucks a month. Calm down, Joe. Take some Ritalin. I'm going to take about, maybe I should take about 50 Ritalin. Uh, the hearing will be held in camera, which means no media. I thought I, I thought I was media. And no recording device will be allowed at the hearing. Well, I always had that for my protection. I'm sorry, I'm going to have my camera on. So, I mean, I'm going to have my camera with me because uh, that's my protection. 
If you are unable to attend this hearing, please advise coordinator of the board, Christine Viano. If you wish to obtain a copy of the documentation pretending to this hearing, prior to this hearing, it, you must contact the area reviewer, Kathleen Forb. Please call the area reviewer at least five days. This is disgusting. Ah, it's from the chairperson, Catlett Bridge. That's disgusting. Anyway, stay tuned. This is going to be interesting.